Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this Women History Month celebration. Greetings. And may we have a silent meditation at this point. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Would you join me with the call to worship? Everybody have a bulletin. You go know, at the back of the church. We will share with you. There are different spiritual gifts. But the spirit. There are many of us. But the spirit. There are different ministries. And the same Lord. There are many places for us to serve. And the same Lord calls to us. There are different activities. But the same God who produces all of them and everyone. There are many of us. And the one God calls to us to serve. Amen. Our opening song is Savior. Dennis Powell, 
Mrs. Conchita Fieldings, Mr. Conyers, family of Judge Richard E. Fields, Mrs. Mary Jackson, Mrs. Thelma Lampkin, Mr. and Mrs. Howard Wine, Ms. Diane Carroll, Ms. Donna Kinsey, Ms. Jaquetta Harrison, Mr. and Mrs. Marion Comwell, Mr. James Hart, Mr. Randy Moore, Mr. Tyron Ainsley, Mrs. Betsy Smalls, Albert Smalls, Nicole Hamilton and family, Tara Mitchell and family, Kenneth Washington and family, Bowman family, Alice Points and Frazier, Melba Blakely, Mr. Dennis, the Dennis family, Herman Gathers, Dr. Otto, Gibbs, I'm sorry, Mr. John Angley and family, Peggy Stevenson, James Martin, Kathy Gathers, Mr. George, George Williams. Are there any others? Kathy we'll Hayes and family. Say it again. Kathy Hayes and family. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. B.J. Harris and family. Lord have mercy. Jess and family. Lord have mercy. Quiet. And at this time, may I have Apostle Ray, the mother of Reginald Holmes, join us this morning to bless us. And we thank her and we bless the Lord for her. Amen. Amen. shall not doubt in his heart, but shall be, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Father, because of who you are, we give you glory and praise. We worship you, our Lord. Thank you for being merciful and gracious unto us. We thank you for being our God of more than enough. For you are a right now God who is able to do all things. Nothing is impossible for you. Father, your word says, create in me oh, a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me so that your thoughts so that our thoughts and actions are of you and what you have ordained for us. Father, we ask you to continue to put your head of protection over our loved ones and gird their loins and dispatch your heavenly angels around them to protect them from the distracting spirits of fear, of depression, of worry, of abuse of strongholds, of stress, of unforgiveness, of hate, and of violence. Father, we ask that you would guide those back to you who are in a backslidden state of mind. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, we ask you to heal each and every one who is sick in their body. Your word says, by your stripes, we were healed. So we decree this morning that we are healed in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we thank you, Lord, for all of the mothers who have humbly come before your throne in prayer. 
praying for their loved ones, standing in the gap, making a difference in the community. Father, continue to rain down your fresh anointing oil on us, Lord God. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your dunamis power, your mighty and wonderful works in our lives. Your word said it will not return back to you void. So we honor you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise.
verses 1 through 12. John 9, 1 through 12. A, blind, a man born blind received sight. As he was walking along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sits, sits me while the day while it is day, night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the light, the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Salam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit in bed? So were saying, some were saying, It is he. Others were saying, No, but it's someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking, Then how were you, how were your eyes open? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud spread it on my eyes, and said to me, Go to Salaam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. Where They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word and the doing of those that hear. Amen. Clothe the unclothed, 
befriend the lonely, comfort the comfortless. We bless them for unselfishly loving our your people as you love us. May the faith keep their needs and the minister We honor our sisters throughout the world who are instruments of your word. May you meet their needs, O Lord, according to your riches and glory. We honor all women who have gone before us. We give you thanks, O Lord. We bless those who wept for us, rejoice with us, wipe our tears, pray for us, and laugh with us. We give you thanks, O Lord. We bless those who undoubtedly sacrificed for us. We give you thanks, O Lord. We bless those women who encourage us to dream, who bring out the best in us, who help us bear our burdens, who love us rightly, O oh God. May we watch over all your people, those who are in this world, with your care, gracious God, consecrate this day for your Lord. In the name of God, our Father, the one who carries us, creates us, who redeems us,
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Let the church say amen. Amen. Deuteronomy, 10th chapter, 
and the 12th verse. And it reads thus. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. So God, we thank you right now for this morning and allowing us another opportunity to come. And so God, we pray that your word um, is food for those of us who are here and that we have an open heart and open ears to hear what you have to say. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. If I had to use a subject this morning, what does God expect of women? What does God expect of women? So ask any man what he expects of a woman, and you get a checklist probably, of sorts. As different men may give different expectations. But as a general rule, modern, modern society expects women to bear children, manage homes, perform domestic chores, work, cook, stay slim and trim. I bypassed that. <laughs> look beautiful, make less money, and stand behind them. Society has high expectations of women. Expectations that are so high, women themselves have extreme difficulty living up to them. And so in the book, there's a book um, entitled His Needs, Her Needs by Willard Harley, it, it names some of the things that men usually, usually expect from women, such as fulfillment, recreational companionship, an attractive spouse, domestic support, and admiration. Some men have high expectations of women. But as this generation refines its definition, definition of woman, a Christian woman finds it even more difficult to find her place in life. And so on one hand, there is the biblical picture of the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31 who seems to do everything right for her family and her husband. But on the other hand, there is the picture of the new woman of this time who is self-expressive, assertive, and progressive in career ambitions. So fortunately for women, God does not have the same right. expectations for them as society right. seems to have. So while there are many scriptures all over the Bible that can be used to elevate the position of women in the faith, depending on your persuasion, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 suggests what God really requires of all And that is to fear the Lord, yes. walk in his way, love, and serve him. And so that's all that God requires of any of us, man or woman. As Christians, we should recognize the full potential and worth of every child of God. Right. So men and women have distinctive tasks to perform, and our obligation to carry them out in fear of God, according to his word, every day, every day of our lives. So our text this morning considers Moses as he gives Israel a brief history of the stone tablets upon which the Ten Commandments were written. And I'm, I'm reminded this morning of Judge Fields. The, the back teller would say that the way Judge Fields 
would come to deposit the church money and have that bag up under his arm, you would think he was carrying the Ten Commandments. <laughs> and so the commandments outline God's general requirements of the children of Israel for God living. They became the moral code of the nation around which all other laws were based. And so in summarizing the commandments, Moses told Israel that all that God required of them was their loyalty to him, their willingness to obey him, serve him, and worship him. And so, as, so today as we try to understand what God expects from women, it is almost impossible to separate that pretext from the whole matter of what God expects of any person who strives to live the God we love. So, but if there were some expectations peculiar to women alone, they would certainly include several considerations among them. Feminine distinction. God expects women to be women and to carry out the woman's role. Distinction in roles is also expected. What is a woman's place in the home? What is her role? What role a woman plays depends upon whether she is married and is to whether she has children and even then whether or not her family arrangement requires her to function as chief provider of the home. So those who are single are expected to be Christian women, chaste and spiritually free. Those who marry are expected to be loyal companions. Those who have families are expected to, to manage their home and rear their children unless social circumstances change that role. Uh, so there is a divine order in the kingdom of God. Men are not biblically superior or the dominant gender. They just have different responsibilities. Right. And so women, you know, we can, we can, we can take the time now. Okay. Get it out of your head. Get it out of your mind. You cannot do, you cannot do, you cannot do anything a man can do. I wouldn't even try. <laughs> I am not going to hurt myself trying to prove anything to anyone that God has not signed off for. And I don't need none of that. That's another thing. So beyond feminine distinction, women are expected to exercise selective Submission in marriage. So this is a very difficult challenge to women desiring to follow the Christian way because it goes against the grain of what the general society teaches. Women are reminded, however, that selective submission to a Christian husband is what God wants. Ephesians 5. 22 to 24 states emphatically, wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. So this is not negotiable. No, no matter how you see it twisted, whatever, throw it up, pick it, whatever, it's not negotiable. So wives are expected to follow the lead of Christ. And so the idea of selective submission suggests that wives have a responsibility to be selective before following anyone yes. Yes. blindly now, even their husbands. Okay? So Sapphira followed her husband, Ananias, blindly, and it cost her her life. And so if a husband is striving to follow the Christian standard and loves his wife as Christ loves the church, why? Mission and follow only those things which are clear to be 
you judge and jury. Right. It does not say that you are to call this man that you feel you might think he's under you as far as <coughs> anyway. That does not get, say that gives you the right. You can't do that, so you won't even take out the chance. You won't even. Well, you know what? You trying to be the man and the woman. All right. All right. So no, he don't have to because you trying to do it all. Okay. Okay. So that's that's not what this is saying. Women are expected to assume supportive roles in the church. Uh oh. So with respect to salvation, listen to me clearly. With respect to salvation, women are equal to men. Amen. Somebody will get that tomorrow. <laughs> Galatians 3, 26 to 28 makes it clear that in Christ there is neither Jew nor Greek. in the 
one other thing. I would like to acknowledge visitors today, even though I know several people will say they're not visitors. <coughs> Reverend Shanita Fryerson and her beautiful daughter is not visitors. They're family that we don't see on a regular basis. But I also like to say, welcome. But you have a friend with you today. That like that. Your name? Good morning. Um, Good morning. I'm Bethany King. I greet you from the state of Mississippi. Awesome. <laughs> I also greet you from the I Love Jackson State University. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. You've already been here. You acknowledge yourself. So you're not visitor anymore, okay? Yeah. Next time you come. Just want to say special thanks to Apostle Ray. She's not a visitor either, because she's been with us on several occasions. Come to listen to her beautiful son and see her daughter-in-law and her grands. But it's awesome. Can you just stand for a minute? So everybody can get to see this oh, pretty sorry. face. Oh, sorry. So you are not a uh, visitor any longer. You're part of this family, and I thank you so much for being in our yeah. service. And I'm looking straight over there. <laughs> and she's looking at me like, what is she going to talk to me? <laughs> Miss Wong's beautiful daughter and those beautiful grand grandchildren. Can you just stand for a minute and let everybody see you? <coughs> Please, you bashful. You remember Ashley? That's, that is the seat that Miss Wong would sit in with her beautiful children and grandchildren. You just warmed my heart so much. When I saw her at the funeral, I wanted to run in the back of the church to get her. But before we got through all the people, she was gone. So it warmed my heart when I saw you walk in with Barbara this morning. This is always your home. Amen. Thank you. And mommy, this is, you're not in this to people. You're part, you're our mom. We call you mom. You raised a beautiful daughter. You taught her well. Put it back in the I wanted to adopt that out of the And her brother over there, Dalton, you said that. Did you say that about your sister? <laughs> I'll get back. <laughs> you do it well. And you taught me a lot. It ain't nothing about me. This old is over here back to life. And that's when he said, step back and let me be in charge. And I appreciate you so very much. Well, you all know I'm a waterhead, so it's okay. <clears throat> uh, at this moment, I do want to say a special thanks. Reverend Tracy, would you come over here? And Apostle Jacqueline and Barbara, come stand with us. Yeah, you come right in here. Ms. Wilson. The ladies of the church find it fitting to do just a little something for all of you. I'll let both of you stand together like that. You know we go to church at three bottles. Yes. Three bottles. Yes. They used to be they used to be four bottles. Jesus said that. Mm -hmm. 
The temple will be a far away. Stack on top of each other. But until that time comes, we must work very hard to keep God's word, his truth, his vision going. So on behalf of the church, the women of the church and the men, so we, walk, we walk side by side. We thank you so very much for taking the time to remind us of our position of what we're supposed to do, what God expects of us, and what God expects of the two of you to do that. We thank you very much. Amen. 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 